and this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got so real talk volume one dropped. Yeah. And then do you remember about how long when you were like, oh man, like yeah. you saw it moving units, you were like, well, let's get, let's just. Nah, I got serious, yeah. So I'm telling you, like I had people, my my mom, I had some 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 big hustlers back in the day, help help me put out that first project. Uh, but yeah, when I seen the move, and I always felt that I was I was pretty good at rap after those last pistol CDs. The 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 speedballing was my first time out, but I got a big buzz from that. Yeah. And then the next CD was was Get Your Weight Up. And I was on there a couple times and I killed that. Then I think it was no before that was volume six. Yeah. From Pistol. I was on there four or five times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And cool the snitch CD and all that. And I kinda start kind of feeling myself like, damn, I'm pretty good. Yeah. But it was it was only until um Real Talk Volume One and I got nominated for SA Awards. I think I performed at the first or second one. And it was it was big and people was like, man, paper man. And I was taking it real serious. You know, I didn't really have a job and stuff. And you know, I got a, I had to start making money from it, but I took it real serious. Uh probably oh four oh five. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see that and then real talk you dropped real talk volume two. Yeah, yeah, That's that was probably the jersey on the Yeah, yeah, that was I probably that yeah, one. that was that was a good prize. It was probably oh six. We did the same five thousand sound scan, you know, did it at the yeah. mom and pops or whatever. Keeping it, keeping yeah, it and then going. before that, uh before Real Talk Volume Two we came out with Grind Hard One. <laughs> See, that's when it really got different. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's 05. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. got to realize, so me yeah. and me and Lido, so, so Real Talk Volume 1, 04, Lido probably put out, uh, he probably put out Hate Name Healthy. Yep. Classic, yep. right? That's the same year. Yeah. We come together and do Grind Hard 1, Volume oh, 1, 05. That's when Pac-Man was on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, Grind Hard. Yeah. Ground Hard One is 05. We probably do 20, 25, 30,000 units. I mean, for real. Yeah, so that's me, yeah. Me. So that's me and Lido and a couple, couple homeboys, Sleazy, yep. Gene, you know yep. what I'm saying, from neighborhood and stuff like that. So we do, man, we, we I man, Lido's, uh, Lido was smart. He went to the uh, small packaging. Oh, yeah. Right, that was Just different. Little, you know little, what I'm saying? Little, yeah, little yeah, little with, yeah. The, with the shrink wrap yeah. on there. Yeah. So, I mean, we moving crazy units. So, after that, we was feeling ourselves. Lido was getting booked yeah. probably for 1500 a show. I'm getting about 750 a show. And yeah. we was, like, we was getting yeah. paid to rap yeah, man. at this point. So, yeah, that was a good time. I, uh, I always would pick up y'all stuff in Rivergate because that's when the mall was popular. Yeah, like, yeah, spotted yeah. the mall. It was like a clothing store. Era? It was era, era. right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bob, Bob like, what's up, Bob? Bob got, went to the feds. Yeah, yeah. You get your paper up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so you got, so you, so yeah, so you got, you got, you got real talk, uh, volume one. Mm -hmm. You got grind hard. You got to get your paper mixtape. Oh yeah, five. Bro. Yeah, bro. Then volume two comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get your paper up, bro. That that song. <laughs> yeah, that was. That's, that, that I was think that's hit. what that single to me is what. It was. really started because I already knew about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was Concrete mag was real popping. That was the getting... reintroduction. But like you said, if you didn't know me from Pistol and PJN, I was a new artist right yeah, there. Because I, I reintroduced. Yeah. You just found out today, so I yeah. reintroduced myself as Paper. Get your yeah. paper. Up. I was doing the whole paper thing. I'm fly, or whatever. Yeah. You know, that was kind of yeah. my 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 little thing. And um. For sure, get your paper was a hit. of Street Symphony blessed me with that. Street Symphony yep. uh, went on to be uh, Grammy, oh, uh, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, award winning producer. And but you yeah. were the first artist from Nashville yeah. to get a beat. Yeah, for facts, facts. I, facts. I don't even yeah. know who hooked me up with that. I think DJ Don Juan. That's why he's on the beginning oh, of that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think that was they was uh, in the same fraternity or something. Like yeah, he hooked yeah. me up with dude, but dude was hitting. That he was blessed me with that. I think I delivered. Really well on that, oh, and then yeah, and that, yeah, that was my first little single. Right after that, um, I did "What's Up Bluff." Yeah. On, that was on the ground hard, so I kept I kept hitting yeah, them man. like with some singles and pushing those singles, you know. So, bro, yeah. my favorite song from you, and I'm I'm trying to get somebody to track down this. Coop, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Coop project. Yeah, oh yeah, Coop, then people yeah. coming. That that's good. the hardest song, that was cold. To, bro. That's my. That's I'm a big fan of your stuff. Yeah, but I was telling Lex that I was like, bro, tell me you still got that. <laughs> Cause you can't look it up on YouTube. He's nah, like, I still got no. it. Like, it was yeah. crazy, dude, because those records uh were before we were really uploading stuff on the internet, yeah. and 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 I was kind of still am slow to the internet and stuff, and I was just kind of like the street, you know, bang hitting them with the streets, you know, pressing up projects, yeah. putting them to the mom and pops. But yeah, so 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 the Coop project, me and Coop was um yeah on that 
It might have been 07, 06. Yeah. So all this is, is yeah. consecutive. I just remember because that was – my favorite verse from you, though, is your verse on – the song with Rail and Fate, the Willy Wonka, the, that's the tough. bro. Yeah, that's tough. I, yeah, I went at it. I, Rocky Marciano went. Yeah, the thing, I went at when it. When you did that on the on the uh, on the verses, on the verses yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. That's crazy because I didn't. Yeah. I, it, it took me a while to put together my format for verses. Yeah. Because I was I was a little yeah I was a little to be honest I was a little nervous, being that I hadn't rapped in in, in a while or even performed I didn't know how I was yeah. gonna take but putting together that putting that on there to your point. Yeah. Was good, you yeah. know. I thought even when I played it, cause Fate killed that beat. You didn't look like you hadn't rapped in a while. Like I you know. still, had that yeah, yeah, same saying the same swag and that. stuff. Yeah, it went over good. I, I used to practice for it. Yeah, I practiced for it like, and I don't think Elroy, you know, what I'm saying, to, he told me, he said, man, he, I, he didn't think I was gonna really work at it and practice. But when we set it up, I was working up with my family yeah. and stuff for like three or four weeks. I wanted to have a good showing. No, for album. sure. Yeah, and the yeah. way the way they shot and everything. Yeah, it was it, good. It, it looks like big boy shit. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, for real. No, yeah, that was good. Sure. <laughs> we, we were talking to uh, to Fate on the podcast yeah. and uh, <laughs> saying we, he, to, it'd be, it, he was talking about a versus with him. It would be like him and like band players. Yeah, so. that'd be good. Because see, with Fate, it'd be like his Vintage older, a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that'd that'd be be, that would be that would be dope. Yeah, that'd be that'd, that'd be killer. That would, so you did the um, you did the get your paper up, and I feel like that is when you, like it start. It was slowly because I yeah. had the other two. But when yeah. you did that one. It felt like that one blew over. It did. A lot more, it did. A lot it more did. Stuff for yeah, you. it was well received. That was kind of my biggest hit um until until that time. And it was like I was showing doing shows off, and that was what I was performing on. Yeah. You know, that was my go to. You know the. The last song, you know, you hit what you perform on and stuff yeah. like that. But Get Your Paper was that early song that got me to the to, to the next level for sure. Yeah, for sure. So then after that, did y'all do the second Grind Hard? Or yeah, did you do so, Pay Per View? Yeah. Is that when you started doing? It was the second Grind Hard. I, right after that, it was 06. We did, I did, personally did uh, Real Talk Volume 2. Yep. Lido might have put out one more or two um, yeah. mixtapes, I'm not sure. And then we did the Grind Hard 2, which was uh, the fuck you mean, hell you mean. That's yep. 07. That's 07, yep. That's the one with Uline? Yep, yep, yep. Uline, Uline on there. Uline. We had a couple yep. hits on there. And then, yep. and after that, that's when I did pay-per-view. And that was my probably my biggest project, you know, today. Pay-per-view, yeah. Yeah. That was, Whip yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. I probably did 25, 30,000 on that. Probably like 12, 13, 14 sound scan. The other 10, yeah. So I was moving... Some good units regionally, you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. yeah. And, it, and the, the majority of that production was Coop. Yeah, Coop, and yeah. Fate, they Fate had a few. We yeah. had about four or five on you there. You had that stretch where, where you was getting you and Coop. Yeah, were being Coop, yeah, yeah. And y'all had some. Yeah, I started I start locking in with Coop. Fate always been my primary, my go-to, but I started locking in with Coop a lot yeah. Um, after that project. Yep, yep. Yeah, and that one. Is that the one that's got one for the money on it too? Were you yep, Mo? yep, yep. Me and Mo. Yep, that yep. <laughs> yep. That was a dope project, dog. Yep, yep, for sure. And then that's that's kind of where that kept going. So you did the pay per view. Would you say that's your most successful one? I think so. My yeah. pay per view. So it, was, it gets weird. So you did you did pay per view. Then it starts going into the to the mix mixtape even more era, which is which I start kind of making. Yeah, singles so so yeah so 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 basically i did ah shit let me go back real talk volume two you had mm -hmm. i'm a hustler on there i'm a hustler i'm a oh, hustler God, yeah, yeah was man. my biggest to that day so there sure. you go so you yeah, go from get your paper up for sure to, to what's up love yeah and then you hit with i'm a hustler and i'm a hustler got it got me to that next level right yeah, yeah. Uh, and then um you, I dropped that. I, I put that again on pay per view one, yep. and then I make six months later. I make Dope Boy Swag. And Dope Boy Swag. Oh yeah, bro. They get me probably four or five years. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. And that was kind of on mixtapes. I really wasn't dropping until probably I did Dope Boy Swag. This was one of those kind of, but I didn't drop an album right yeah, yeah. And, until I did the thing with DJ Scream. Yeah. Um, 2010 and 2011. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much this was Monday, dude. Dope Boy Swag, probably for three years, just making that that song kind of got me just yeah, yeah. start giving me some money. Yeah. And then I dropped the stuff with Young Buck in 2012. So That's the you, gas project. Yeah, yeah. The gas project. Yeah. So yeah. You, you want to talk about the when you switch from paper to yeah, city the city paper. paper. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that that was a unique that was a, that was a unique thing because when I did the Dope Boy Swag, I was whatever I came up with 
Broadway. Shout out to Broadway. Yep. He done that, done that track. It was crazy. Uh, funny story, Broadway, when he done the beat, when I came up with the hook, he was like, me, I fuck with Broadway. Broadway's my guy. Oh, yeah. He was like, man, what is he talking about? They say I'm on But I don't know why I came up with it. But I was Bro, like. It's so catchy, though. Yeah, it was crazy. So Broadway was looking all mad yeah. and shit. What are you talking <laughs> about? He had this other treatment. Yeah. He had this other treatment that he wanted me to do or whatever. Yeah. But And I was like, it's going to work. It's going to work, man. Long story short, I did that. I started pressing up singles. The next day, I got a mixed and master. And it took five days, man. We was already bubbling around. Oh, dude. And you, see, you was. Y'all had the the Charles Robinson video. Yeah, 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 y'all yeah, were, yeah. Oh, it was crazy. Were the, y'all were on the cutting edge of the of the visuals. First back one, then. first one, first one, yeah. that, first one to get with Charles. Yeah, like, so yeah, yeah, somebody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, y'all, man, they they crazy them. too, man. That, they, that's what I figured. Yeah. When you switched to the city paper. Yeah, that it was that moment yeah. um, when I got with Charles. I was like, shit, I'm gonna just start calling myself the city paper. With the T H A spelled yep. like the newspaper, yep. and made, we made the news, blah blah blah, front page news. Yeah. We did all this stuff. Yeah. Came up with this little unique treatment to make it a yeah. broad thing, and it propelled me to the city paper. And that was probably we did, man. I milked that thing, like well, bro. I mean, it was a it was a smash. Yeah, it was. It was man, yeah. they still play that record. Sure. We man, we did that. It came out of that for my wedding the other day, and it was still crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So people yeah. loved that song. It was it was a good song, great song. Yeah. Did crazy numbers, a um, couple hundred thousand views on YouTube, and and, and then I went to uh, after that we we uh, I guess I got what Young Buck called me. That's what yeah. happened. Young Buck called me, got on a remix. Well, a remix, yeah. I was watching that video this morning. And that yeah. went it made it bigger because yeah. he was popping at that time, and he got on a remix. That's what you debate a little bit too, didn't you? Yeah, it, it kind of. Uh, he changed. said, he said, paper, I'm ready or something, but I just made it, it cut in a little quicker yeah. or whatever, but kind of switched up, but that thing went went even bigger yeah. or whatever. That went yeah. even bigger. And then me and him got the rocket. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that yeah. goes into the time when me and him got the rocket. We did that. I got on his Live Low, You Die Rich, did the Loco song. Oh, Loco, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. And then me and him. Started getting a little chemistry with them those two projects. The gangsta street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that did real good, um, man. They took it. They took it off YouTube, I guess. Fifty Cent, whatever that suing, um, whatever they I got. Was what happened yeah, they that. took yeah. all that stuff off YouTube. Took all the Charlie P stuff off uh, YouTube that yeah. he did with Young Buck. So yeah, yeah. I had a couple million views on that, and I was getting some some good perks from that. But he that took all true. of that off. Uh, that was kind of my biggest. Uh, charting songs, you know what I'm saying, views wise, you yeah. know what I'm saying, that I've done. That volume one, volume two had some hits on Yeah, but volume, volume one was one. crazy. Yeah, it was one sick. had Big 12 on it? Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was sick. Y'all, y'all both, y'all both did your thing on that. On yeah, that and I kind of knew at that point. I mean, I always knew that I was one of those guys, to be honest. Like, I ain't, you know, but when I did that shit with Buck. Yeah. That you I, could hang, that you could get on the seriously track. though yeah, seriously yeah. I never you know what I'm saying because I was a little nervous when I first yeah. started rapping with him because Buck was like a intimidating dude in the studio yeah. like he uh you know I hey, man I hope y'all this and I hope y'all that he kind of scare you out yeah and man I, once I did that loco I knew I could hang with him but once doing though and keeping up with him though yeah yeah keeping up with him is yeah. is very very hard like. Cause he, he comes, like he works fast. I know, dude. It's yeah. like, man, and I was like, shit, yeah. man. I go in the car, and I was, and once I got to writing and shit, and and he taught me a lot of how to approach the track and how to sound. You know, he taught me about my voice and how to make it sound and tweak. You know, so he taught me a whole lot. Cause out the gas, you could tell I was, I was, I was really. I was here out the gas. You know, what I'm saying yeah, going twenty like songs more, with. I don't say aggressive, but you had more of a. Yeah. Is that did pay per view two drop after that? So pay per view two, yeah, it dropped after that. You yep. could tell. You could tell. Your yep. intro on paper. Yeah, yeah, I was ready. Yeah, my, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Songs, Man, you. it's crazy. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that because yeah. after Gas and Buck went to the Feds, 2013, 14, and I dropped Pay Per View two and fourteen. I really felt like I was the best. Yeah, I really felt yeah. like yeah. rapping with Buck those forty songs because it's yeah. forty songs. So I tell people if you do if you if you rap with Buck and nobody's saying who is this dude on there, that's what you, that's what they usually say. Yeah. You got to realize anybody rap with Buck over three songs, people fast forward and saying, "Why he got this dude on? Because he's so good." Not yeah. not to listen no, who's sure. on there, but he's so good he's that more people right. want to hear. Like you know, this if that makes so, if, if yeah, they're yeah. even saying this was my, this is what I was worried about. If they're even saying, if they're even not saying, who is that dude? They saying, yeah. "Shit, woo, woo!" And it was every song. Yeah, it was oh lord. Song. It was better not be that bullshit. And it was like, yeah. ooh, ooh. That dude, and I knew then, they gave me a lot of confidence that yeah. 
man, I can, I can really rap. You know, even rapping with Gotti, rapping with Lido was one of those too that make you say, you know, me and Lido on the whip game on the 252 grams Bro. on the prime time, all that stuff. Yeah. Cause dude was, but I was a little older. And to be honest, when we first came in the game, me and him was equals. Yeah. If it makes sense, it was almost my little brother. Yeah. And he looked at me like, yeah. you wanted them. So I never was that intimidated. We was friends and we were, yeah. you know, he went on to be just crazy. He like oh, the yeah. GOAT. That's my guy. Oh, he's he's in my way. That's my guy. Now. But at the beginning, yeah. he was almost looking at me because I had been on pistol CDs, if it makes sense. Yeah. So he was looking at me like, you've been on the big projects, right? So when we started hooking up on in Fate Studio, I was the big dog. So yeah, I wasn't sure. really that well, intimidated. He's looking up to you because yeah. of what you've done yeah, already. Yeah, already yeah, from Pistol sure. and all of that yeah. stuff. So he just had crazy, crazy talent. Like, dude was just so good, oh, so young. You know, and I always told people, dude was just, <laughs> I tell him, like, that's like one of my best friends. Like, you're a sicko. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you're a sicko. But when it came to Young Buck, that was one of those guys that I was a little intimidated by. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, doing that gas, I was like, shit, I'm good. And that's oh, yeah. when I went to pay-per-view too. When I was already going through shit like in my mind and pay-per-view two wanting to kind of leave rap because you got to realize I had been in it since 99. So I was already on, phasing on out no, pay-per-view two, but yeah. there was still my prime gas, pay-per-view two, dope or swag, late 2000s. Yeah. All the way to 14. You know, even yeah. though I was good early, I found myself, yeah. you know, 2009, well, you just 10. Get better. You just yeah, get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. like, one of my another one of my favorite verses for you, I'd probably say it's probably in my top five yeah. of yours, is, is the verse you did on, uh, I think it's called Hard on uh, Gangsta Street. Yeah. That, uh, Bro, that one. Uh, that one. That uh, beat, I think did, uh, I don't know who did that. The majority of those beats was by Gotham, wasn't Gotham it? Gotham and so, man, that song we did a little video there. That's on the end of the bit, not be no bullshit. But yeah, that was crazy. That's that's uh, that's the one. Yeah, was, right hand up, swear to God. Yeah, yeah, I'm hard. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and actually that song, Buck had went to the feds, and there was a lot of solo songs that I was doing, and giving him a verse here or, or or cutting it or whatever. But I knew I could hold my own, and he told me he gave me the confidence that like, you got to realize, Young Buck has never did two projects with anybody. No, man. So you got to look at how he looked at me, being honest. I'm yeah, not yeah. even talking to my own horn. Yeah, yeah. He don't do two, three songs with people. Maybe because, you know, not talking about him, I ain't got no problem with him, but maybe that he think he's that good, whatever it is. You know, a lot of a lot of big artists, yeah. unless you're signed to them, yeah. you're really not doing no two full projects, projects yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with anybody. Yeah. Either maybe you're scared of them, Maybe you don't think they're that good, but whatever yeah. it is, yeah. you don't do that. So I looked at it like, no, I'm 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 for real, and yeah, I start yeah. walking walking and talk like I'm for real, and everybody know it. So that's kind of my height, you know what I what I what I base it on. Like, damn, you know, I did I did these songs and these great records with these greats, you know, Pistol yeah. earlier, Lido throughout my yeah, career, man, Yo Gotti I mean, had a big Yo single Gotti, with, and Gotti, then yeah. all of these people, all of these dudes. Look at me if I walk in this room like you wanted him. Because you are one of them. Yeah, so I always yeah, had that confidence. Sure. I wasn't, yeah. yeah, I could have probably went further or whatever, whatever, but I was always content. I was always content with the way my career went, what I've done. Like I knew that, yeah. you know, it was almost like going mid major in basketball or being one of those. Damon Lillard's or John Morant's that I always knew that was that good. They yep. it, they was under recruited. Yep. They went to small schools or yeah. whatever, but they was always that guy. And they knew it. If you talk to them guys, they knew they, they knew that they yeah. was that guy. So yeah. that's kind of like my my career. Was. Not for sure. But